everyone and welcome to Disneyland Paris day two. Touch my hand, it all goes away. The things I plan, the things I would say now I get rambling on. I sound so cliche. What I am trying to do is say I love you. A gorgeous sunny day. The skies are blue, aren't they? Yeah. We are up and out, ready for extra magic time. And this morning we're heading into Disneyland Park to get on some rides before my royal dream for this one yeah. at 10 past 10. Are you excited? Yes. Let's go have some magical fun, baby. Yeah. But what I was thinking, the first two rides we're probably going to go on is Hyperspace Mountain and is that the one that we Buzz Lightyear? Mm. Uh, Autopia? I would do small world. Mum got to see small world today. We've just got our um, breakfast on the go. We bought some like pan and chocolate and sugar waffles from home just for ease sake because there's not that many places to get breakfast here. There's like the sports bar and Starbucks in Disney Village, and then you've got the place on Main Street in Disneyland Park. But again, it's just croissants and these, so easier to bring them from home. But yeah, let me show you what a gorgeous, gorgeous day it is today. The lake is stunning with hotel new york over there i love that view i love walking out and seeing that and all the marvel statues over there you could just see that like, iron man and captain america sparkling in the sun you've got the balloon yeah it's gonna be such a lovely day just coming up to the security point which is on mcdonald's side like the newport bay side of the disney village not too bad of a line for first thing the crowds have been really quite manageable actually it's not been too busy at all which is handy and hopefully we can get quite a few rides out this morning whilst it's still just hotel guests only this is lovely i can't wait to see that castle sparkling away with the blue sky can you darling it's gonna be nice isn't it i love how all the shops are still like quite vintagey disney store here i'm sure that will probably change soon as it goes through this redevelopment stage but they're so cool hopefully later we're gonna do a bit of shopping later on today if we go to the Lego store. The Lego store? Not again, baby! But we haven't seen much merch at all yet. That's a lovely Disneyland hotel. Planet Hollywood shut down, which is weird to see. There's just a big, like, hole in the front where the little tube used to be that you'd walk up. I'll show you guys in a minute. There we go. You can just see, like, the big hole. I've heard through the grapevine that I think it is still staying Planet Hollywood, but they're, like, making it modern, like Disney Springs. Looks nice with the blue sky. Everything looks so nice with the blue sky though. Oh my gosh, it's stunning. I love it. So Disney Hotel residents, it says on this side here, are just to come this side over to the right hand side of the Disneyland Hotel where we'll check in. And we should still have about 45 minutes worth of um, hotel guests only time. So should go on a few things. So this is our magic pass it's actually newport bay club themed which is really cute but that's our park tickets hotel room key it's also got our dining reservations on so it's just scanning in with that for everything really which is handy i do wonder whether this empire will ever go to magic bands because that would be even better Park and Mickey and Minnie were going up to the train station to do their little waving everybody in for the morning. That was amazing seeing those guys and the castle. It's gonna be such a nice day. I'm so excited. Right, we've come into the Market House Deli so Rob can grab a coffee, but they've got some lovely looking croissants and baked goods. Yes, Angel. Can you have a muffin? Yeah? Chocolate muffin. You can have one. Do you want to share it with mummy though? Oh gosh, because I'm looking at them muffins too. But yeah, this is where they do the Mickey sandwiches. So you've got ham and cheese, vegetable one, a salad, croque monsieur, chicken and egg salad, and some crisps as well. That's quite good. It's relatively priced in here. Croissants only two euros. Get a yogurt for two thirty. Minute Maid orange or apple. Would you like an apple juice? An apple juice and a muffin, Pacey. Is that it? Yummy! 
is where they do the Mickey beignets as well. Chocolate hazelnut flavour, four euro fifty. And a Mickey cookie, we might have to come back in here later. Is there any better feeling in the world than like walking down Main Street towards the castle? It's so magical. A lot of construction walls up in front of Casey's. I think these only went up like the other day because they're making an outside canopy area, which is good for the weather here, I guess. But yeah, more, more construction. It'll be worth it in the end. Look at her shimmer and shine! Oh my god! Just stopped off with some castle pics before it gets too busy. We've come through Sleeping Beach Castle and we're heading on to the carousel of our first ride of today. I won't let go, I can't say no My heart is yours, so I say here we go You do that something to me, you do that something to me Relentless, literally. I ran ahead to get paid to the big horse. The little boy starts climbing on it, and his mum's like, Go, go. I'm like, No, no, it's not a horsey. But mummy got you the horse, didn't she? And we had fun. And I think we're going to walk around to Adventureland now and see if we're 1.4. I don't honestly think we'll be there, but it's worth a try and seeing how far off we are. Is that a good idea? Yes. And if we're not, then I don't know what we'll do. We'll see what's open around that area. Maybe Pirates of the Caribbean? Yeah. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? Yeah. Super quiet this morning walking over into Adventureland. Fantasyland's always quite busy. Um, Peter Pan's quite busy in the mornings. It was down, so I think it's come back up looking by the amount of people around there. But here we are at Skull Rock. I'd like to meet Captain Hook today, darling. Do you fancy that? No. Do you remember when you were little, you came and you showed Captain Hook a crocodile move and you really frightened him? Do you remember? No. That was so funny. I think you were about two and a half. Such a nice atmosphere. Literally just walking through here and remembering like all the things we love here at Disneyland Paris. Like they've got Skull Rock and Captain Hook's ship, Jolly Roger. We've got the Swiss Family Treehouse, which is quite different here. Adventure Isle, where we can go around the caves and stuff. So we've got so much to do today. Yeah. Yeah, of course we can. We'll go up in the treehouse later. I love the treehouse. A Rafiki meet and greet here from 11.45 till two o'clock just behind uh, Colonel's Outpost where they do the pizza and stuff. That'd be fun. Made our way up to Indiana Jones and the Temple of Peril. Going up to our measuring stick. Oh darling, we're still quite a bit too small, aren't we? Just too short. Never mind, Next thank time. you. Next time, my angel. Did you want to go on, Rob? No. Yeah, so it's, five minutes. it's a quick walk on, yeah. While Rob's having a little bit of a rattle around on Indiana Jones, Paisley and I just popped down to the um, Adventure and Outpost, the little shop that's like directly opposite. What have you found? Popcorn! Oh my gosh, you just gonna see what they've got. They've got some of the cute like Bigfoot plush that I actually really like and some ears. These are so cute. Simba and Nala, Mufasa, Scar. I love the Rafiki. He hasn't got the big feet, he's got cross legs. He is. 26 euros very nice got some clothing as well indiana jones 23 pounds and then round here we've got sweater version which is 40 i said pounds i meant euros you've got like a ghillie for 60 and a shirt which is 50 for anyone who is a great big indiana jones fan Paisley and I were just chatting and watching Indy go round and she said it doesn't even look fast, like why can't I do it? And I think it's probably because compared to like Flight Force and Space Mountain, the harnesses probably just aren't as new and maybe they're not designed to hold down like such a tiny child, perhaps they're a bit bigger or I don't know, but I think it's probably to do with the harnesses rather than the speed of the ride because she can do Flight Force and stuff, so it's not to do with the speed and the loops because that this goes upside down once. Rob, that was quick. Here he is, did that wake you up? Is it good? Yeah, it's really short, isn't it? Really short, and it's quite bashy from memory. Really bashy. <laughs> but it's fun. Next time, hopefully, she'll be able to come on yeah, as well. Paisley yeah. 
is picking a ride out, looking at the wait times. What are we saying, darling? Uh, oh, the tree house. Yeah, let's go to your tree house. Here we go, the Swiss family tree house. Gonna head on up and get a look at the views from up here, which will be fun. Yeah, this is their kitchen, Pacey, where the Swiss family had all their meals and spent their time together. Got all the fruits. Fruits and roots. We're going up another level. Oh, baby, the jungle lookout. You nearly missed the jungle lookout. You know who's down there? Who's down there? You see two guys? Oh, yeah. Can you imagine living in a treehouse like this? That's crazy. I would. Imagine the spiders and the snakes. It's cool to see, though. They've got loads of shells. They're probably adventurers, aren't they? Oh, up again, up again. There we go, Swiss Family Treehouse is always a lot of fun. You get some good views of like all around the park. You can see the castle and it's just, it's nice. It's a nice walk through. We like it. Tracy got a little picture on her Instax so we're just waiting for that to develop. She liked looking down at the bridge and like where Mr. Fredrickson and Russell were. So that was really fun. Hi, Jeannie. You ain't never had a friend like me. Woo! <laughs> That was good. We just saw a line of people waiting for Jeannie to come out. He starts meeting at 10. I did just get told off though. Mummy, we don't have to shout whenever we see a character. I think we're getting to the age where I'm a bit embarrassing, aren't I? <laughs> Sorry darling, Mummy gets excited. As we head through Frontierland, we're just passing the Overland Trail Cafe. I think this is quite new, but they've got the dreaded turkey legs. So now we're going to see people here at Disneyland Paris with the turkey leg as well as Walt Disney World. We've also got churros with sugar with a little cocoa guy. And yeah, we are making our way back down Main Street towards the Disneyland Hotel for my royal dream. I love Frontierland. I love it so much. I love the music, all the buildings. Proper Disney nostalgia. We could have a little run around these um, forts later on as you enter the area. Because I don't know if we've ever done that, Paisley. Have you ever been up in these forts up here and been up there? No, we'll have to do that. <laughs> so do you know what's going to happen today? That's good. Yeah, do you know what is the whole concept of our like, royal dream? So we've done the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique yes. over in Orlando yes. and on the cruise. So we're thinking it's going to be similar it's concept. Similar. Yeah. yeah. It's similar. It's just the different name that we have here. As you're in a palace, in a hotel, that is a beautiful castle, royalty, it's called royalty. Okay. So now we're going to have a minute to get there to choose your dress. Because I want to see who's your favorite princess. So you can check it all in town. Is that all right for you? Yeah? We've chosen the middle package which is 190 euros and with that you get the makeover, a dress of your choice and a tiara as well. So we're currently in the shop picking which princess to transform into. This one? Aurora! So Good. As well as having tiaras available, you were also able to choose shoes as your accessory or purchase them at an additional cost. Okay. Oh, wow. Right, we've come into the changing room and we're just fitting on the dress and let's see your shoes. Shoes aren't included in the package, they're 25 euros to have. And um, we've sized up, so Paisley's actually eight as of yesterday. She is quite tall and we've sized up to a 10 and it doesn't touch the floor, so I think that's just about right. But look at this cute little chair. <laughs> it's lovely in here, these details. Okay, so further inspection, the dress is a little bit big just on the back. It's a bit like 
gapy and you'll get cold. So we're actually going to try the Cinderella dress in a size 8 or 9. Because they don't have Aurora, do they? Yeah, but, but I will get cold in because of these. Uh, the Cinderella dress is a perfect fit. And we've actually gone size 7 to 8, haven't we? Mm -hmm. I think they actually come up a little bit big here. Which is unusual because they do usually come up quite small. But this fits gorgeously. And it's got pearl details, it's got some sequins, it's got a shoe on there, Cinderella slipper. Can yeah. you do me a twirl? Look amazing, sweetheart. Gorgeous. And the cast member's just gone to get us these shoes to try. Congratulations, princess. You are gorgeous. Do you want to have a look in the big mirror before to take your picture? You really look amazing, Paisley. That was so good, wasn't it? Are you happy? Good girl, we need to get your crown. Ah. Lovely. So as part of my royal dream, you get a photograph, don't you? So we've come through to this little room with a red carpet and a very, very royal backdrop. A throne as well, and you can have a gorgeous photo. It's nice, isn't it, babe? We get a photograph included in the My Royal Dream package and we get to choose it. You like that one? Okay, that's fine. And then we can add extras at an additional cost as well. Lovely. Oh, so. Is that the one for the, for the frame? Uh, yes, please. Yeah. yeah, that is so beautiful. Not put anything in print Thank you so much. Thank you. So, Paisley, how did you find My Royal Dream? Great. Did you like it as much as the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique? Yeah. Yeah, that was so fun. And that was our experience at My Royal Dream. It was a lot of fun. The cast members were really, really nice. Like, they took a lot of time letting Paisley pick her dress out, doing the hair and makeup. The photo shoot was amazing. And it cost us uh, 12 euros to get two extra prints as well as the one that was included. So I thought that was really good. I was expecting to get stung a bit harder than that with the additional prints. I'm so glad we got to experience it. I'm sure the experience will be available for all guests to book soon. At present, in March 2024, it's still for the Disneyland Hotel guests only, um, or those that had a booking beforehand, which we were lucky enough to have. But hopefully that will change soon. And yeah, I would definitely recommend it. It was a lot of fun, very magical, and really good for a special occasion. Whilst we've been at My Royal Dream, we were allowed in the Disneyland Hotel, so we've had a little look around the shop. And now we're just having a look. Aurora is actually up there on that balcony, but this is insanely gorgeous. Yeah, so, so nice. Um, we've got dinner, well, lunch, should I say, in about an hour over at Royal Banquet, which is just here along the way from the shop. And you've also got the Lumiere restaurant just there, which does evening meals as well. 
Yeah, should we look at this menu actually? So it's the adult buffet. It's 100 euros per adult and 50 per child. Oh, Pacey's just having a little minute with Aurora up there. That was so cute. Look at this. Crystal Castle, that is absolutely beautiful. Stunning. We've come into the Disneyland shop to do a bit of shopping. I think somebody likes lounge flies a lot now. We've got three faves, haven't we? Wish, Frozen and Mini. We spent some time looking around this hotel. It's just incredible. It's probably the nicest hotel I've ever been in. I prefer it over the Grand Meridian, to be honest. It is stunning. Look at the castle in the chandelier and all the details and the smell. It's lovely. It's so, so nice done inside the Disneyland Hotel. We've got a half hour till lunch back in there so we've come out to enjoy the sunshine and just soak up a bit of atmosphere on Main Street. Have a look in the Emporium with my princess. Everyone keeps saying hi princess, look at you, don't they? Yes, you might be wondering why I took my crown off. She took her crown off because it's hurting a little bit because... There's like a little thing here yeah. and it hurts a lot. Is it pushing into your skull? Yeah. That's okay. Like, do you know what it feels like when you get poked by a knee and then you <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go have a look in the Emporium. Look at this dress in the sunshine. What a priceless special moment, oh my gosh. Loads of Wish merchandise in most of the shops here at Disneyland Paris still. I suppose it's like the most recent film, but yeah, if you're a Wish fan, there's definitely a lot to choose from. What's that darling, all the figurines? You like that one, do you? How much is it, does it say on the bottom? Or the back, here we go, it's just on the back, look. Uh, 35 euros. This massive star is so cute. Look at Marie, Paisley, round here, look, they've got turning red. How cute is he? He's even got them cutie baby eyes that you draw. Oh, her, sorry, my bad. I love these stitching angel like Valentine ears with the love heart on. They're really nice. Come to look at the pins. I am in love with this one. Duchess and Thomas Amelica at the Eiffel Tower. I think that is adorable. That's an orange, some nine euros. You like that one, do you? That's quite a large one, baby. Isn't it? These are huge. I don't know how they'd sit well on the lanyard or not. Got lots of um, animators collection. Loads of stitch. Everywhere's gone stitch crazy lately. These ones are quite nice, Paisley. You like Princess and the Frog, Cinderella. You could get a nice Cinderella one to um, remember your choice at My Royal Dream. Oh, we've just found some like ride specific collections. So they've got Phantom Manor. Oh, look, here's all of them Pirates of the Caribbean, Tower of Terror, Big Thunder, which is really cool. Oh my gosh, we even have the bags. That's nice. Small World. Oh, we still haven't done Small World. Please, can we do that today? Yeah, darling, I'll help you. What's inside, do you reckon? Oh, just in case you need any help getting the Small World song stuck in your head. That's perfect. That's really nice, though. I like that as a jewelry box. Small World lounge fly bag and mini ears. I love those. I love all the pastel colours. I think they're gorgeous. Where are we heading? To Big Thunder and Pirates. Wow. And Tower of Terror. It's nice to see a bit more ride merch here. <coughs> Hollywood Tower Hotel. You've got a Big Thunder Spirit Jersey. That's really cool. Spirit Jerseys are 80 euros. Got one for pirates as well. Phone cases, amazing. Woolly hats. Oh, that's awesome. Cinderella plastic shoes lasted all of 10 minutes and now we're going back to <laughs> Paisley's DMs to go for the Cinderella dress. You look like a very cool princess, sweetheart. Just because they um, are hurting here. Today. They were rubbing, weren't they? You had a um, friction burn on your foot from dance the other day. Right, time to head in to the Royal Banquet restaurant. I'm so excited for this. Oh my gosh, guys. Here's the food at the Royal Banquet. It's very fishy. There's lots and lots of fish in this middle section. I'm like crab claws, shrimp, whelks, 
all kinds, oysters, and then we come over to this station where we have vegetables and rice. Hello. Hello. We have a large ham. We have some Mickey Hello, cheese and princess. tomato cake. Say hi, darling. Mickey cheesecake. We have mini fish goujons, Mickey potato shapes. Wow. Look at all this, Paisley. Like charcuterie meats, tomatoes. This is amazing. So much choice. Look at these desserts, guys. Wow. We should get our mains first, shouldn't we? We've got beignets, we've got king cake, macarons, all sorts. This is amazing. Okay, so Paisley's got some Mickey potato cakes, fish goujons, cucumber cheese ham and a bread roll and um, it's very fussy so there's actually quite a lot here for you to be honest and um, rob has got a fish to bring <laughs> rob's under the sea <laughs> loads of fish everyone has to have a fish what do you think my favorite what is your favorite definitely yours is that beige and rob's gone for a, a red plate so mine is beige look at the bread rolls mommy you have to pick I think I'm beige too, sweetheart. <laughs> I've gone for the Mickey potatoes, some chicken ballantine with mozzarella, a cheese and tomato Mickey parcel, and some Asian inspired Mom. rice. Hi, Mickey! Oh. Hi, Donald! Number one! Hey! <laughs> oh, we love you too! <laughs> Thank you so much, Donald! Queens or princesses today! <laughs> You look lovely. We love your crown. <laughs> Adorable. Yay! Oh, Hi, Daisy. You look amazing. Woo! <laughs> so nice. Such a sassy duck. The crown, the bow on the back is lovely. The shoes, gorgeous. So nice. And we have a princess here to meet you too. <laughs> oh, you girls are matching in your blue princess dresses. Gorgeous, so nice. Oh, she loves you, darling. Thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you. Bye, Daisy. These are the desserts I've gone for. So I've gone for the Bell Rose, which I think said it was like a cherry and sponge and almond type cake, which would be lovely. A little macaroon, because it kind of had to be done, really. A lemon meringue tart and a mini apple cake, which looks so good. But how pretty is that? Little purge. Lovely. That rose. It's delicious. This is the cross section. That is so yummy. He loves your outfit, princess. <laughs> we love yours as well, Mickey. You look amazing. Uh, <laughs> Rob's gonna try some of the other desserts. So that one's lovely. And I like the glisten on that. But you got the sword in the stone one, which is quite cool. Which was that passion fruit? Mango and passion fruit Mango. inside. You'd think that would be like a chocolatey one that colour, wouldn't you? But no, all the desserts have been really, really lovely. We're all finished up at Royal Banquet and in total that cost exactly 250 euros. We did prepay it, so that's done and nice. That included a Coke each and Paisley had a large apple juice as well. You also get the bottle of water included. Um, that was nice, wasn't it? Did you enjoy your lunch? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? And you really enjoyed your lunch, lunch, didn't you? I was able to eat, which is good because I'm very fussy. There's lots of chicken. Guess what? Guess what? Spider web. Should we do that again later? Yeah. <laughs> that hotel, that restaurant was amazing. Was amazing. Absolutely loved it. It wasn't better than our hotel. Crazy likes our hotel, Newport Bay. We need the keys, the magic passes again, aren't we? We're in the outfit like blooming yo yo's today. But yeah, we're going through. We're going to go to Space Mountain, Crazy's favourite. She took a princess dress off because, albeit beautiful, apparently it's not very comfy. So that's a shame, but still gorgeous. And time to go to the rides. <laughs> 
Thank you. Woo! Popcorn stop. It's 6.50 for a little bag of popcorn. And then you've got the buckets as well. You've got the Mickey and Minnie one, Cinderella carriage, and the Mickey and Minnie box one, which is quite nice. We're not gonna do it this time. I think it says it refills at 6.50 as well, so. We're just going to get the one. One a day is more than enough for us. And little Madam will be happy. It's small world time. I can't wait to see what's changed since like it went down and reopened. I'm hoping it to be all shiny and new and, and lovely, lovely. We're heading into Fantasyland via the route we haven't been in yet, like between Discovery Land and Fantasyland right down near Small World. So yeah, gonna do a few rides around here now. 15 minutes. Perfect, and we've now got a cue snack. Are we gonna share? Oh, there's Tigger and Eeyore going off backstage. Look at them. Bye. <laughs> updates like I don't think it had like a western saloony bit before oh careful it had um like the animatronics mouths were singing and they were blinking and the hippo's eye like the one in Magic Kingdom the hippo's a bit like this but in that one the hippo was very healthy wasn't it yeah he was a healthy hippo <laughs> yeah that was fun no no he's no. trying to make me do space mountain still we didn't do it before small world so long line didn't it but yeah. mommy doesn't want to do it well, you have to because she's full. Yeah, there's a point. We're just coming by the Princess Pavilion here at Fantasyland. It doesn't say who's in there today, but it's an 80 minute wait. They've got loads of little um, food stands here as well near Small World. Toffee apples and pretzels and smell of wine and alcohol and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if these are always here. Again, they look quite Christmassy. So whether they were here before Christmas and then just stayed, I don't know. Hi, Disney Ducks. Oh, the daddy ducks are asleep. The daddy duck looks annoying. Hello. Lisa <laughs> <laughs> said she kept her eyes open. <laughs> and she made me a promise, didn't you, to keep her eyes open. I said, what did you see then? She went, well, your eyes are open. I went, yeah, what did you see? Oh, I, mean, I don't know. I saw what you saw. Mm -hmm. But I don't think mm -hmm. they were open. And how, and how did mummy get on? That was fine. Yeah. Was fine. Paige just told me off. All that fuss yeah. for nothing. It's only the launch, the rest is fun. Yeah. Which is said I don't like launch. But it's only 0 to 44. Yeah. I just Googled it. 0 to 44. So that's really my limit. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. It's done. Are you take your hair out? Paisley's um, hair's all come out, it didn't last long. Continuing on the Star Wars theme, we're gonna do Star Tours. 25 minute wait. Rob, have you ever done this one? Oh, it's quite fun. You don't remember it either. So it's gonna be new all around. You're going to space. Star Tours was fun. It was one I hadn't really seen before or hadn't seen. With Chewie went in it and they went to like where Chewie lives. I haven't seen Star Wars, so forgive me for my lack of terminology and things. But yeah, we're actually heading back to Newport Bay now to have a bit of a chill and relax before coming back out tonight for fireworks and drone show, which I'm so excited for. Lighting's a bit funny because we're just walking down one of the side arcades down Main Street, just thought it'd be a bit 
quieter and easier pacing. Would you like an ice cream? Yeah. Slight detour and change of plan. We've ended up in the little uh, Boardwalk Candy Palace, I think it's called, but where they'd sell all the sweets and candy. And we're just gonna look around. Peter's gone for the in Mars bar. Do you like these or no? We've got some nice big munchlings in here. Some of them are 30% off. And originally, oh, they're only 35 euros. That could have been a whole lot worse. So I guess it's 30% um, off of the 35 of the ones with the red dot again. That's quite good, actually. And a bit of a pick a mix. It's four pounds per, or four euros per 100 grams. Do anything mummy can have in there, do you reckon? Licorice, cherries, oh my word. This is the price of the macaroons. So you can get six for 11 euros. These are what Penelope liked last summer, aren't they, sweetheart? They've only got pistachio and caramel left today, by the looks of things. And that's us saying goodbye to Disneyland Park for today. In the daylight, anyway, we'll be back later. It'll be dark. I'm so hoping it's going to be sunny like this tomorrow because it makes all the difference. It's gorgeous. Everyone's sitting out because Stars on Parade starts in like half an hour. But um, I think we're ready for our break. We've seen that parade quite a lot of times and whilst it is lovely, lovely, we're definitely ready to go back to room and rest our feet up a little bit before coming back this evening because we really do want to do that drone show. We need to keep our energy. It's just coming up for like five half five I think so we're gonna grab Paisley and McDonald's for dinner just so that job's done haven't had any fast food today she actually had a proper meal back at the um the banquet so nice easy option here in Disney Village McDonald's and it doesn't look half as busy as it does last night does it you said you were here for like an hour well, that's the experience <laughs> I always find it super cool that they have a McDonald's bakery here they've even got like McDonald's cheesecake macaroons Cinnamon roll, yummy. Yeah, it's just an easy option. We're back in Newport Bay. <laughs> the lights, I'm going like ghostly, non-ghostly. Ghostly, non-ghostly. Um, yeah, there's a little like kids room, like an activity room that Paisley's got her eyes on. So we're gonna eat dinner, eat her dinner in the room, get freshened up a bit, sit down for a little while, and then probably let her have half an hour in there just to like wind down a bit before we go out again tonight. We also don't want to be out too early for the fireworks because they're not until well, the drone shows at 10 to 10 the fireworks are at 10 and it's quite chilly so we don't want to go out too early we want to like make sure she's okay being out and doesn't get cold through or too tired and stuff so yeah that's the plan for this evening really there's also the character meet and greets which are in the convention center here at Newport Bay so hopefully we'll have time to pop down there and see who's meeting and greeting as well I said guys in my planning video that Newport Bay was the Corridor Club. Literally since I started this clip, I'm one minute in now, we've been going through corridors. It's like, you get to one corridor and you think you're there. There's another corridor and then another corridor. <laughs> How many corridors, baby? 800. 800 corridors. So just off of the lobby, there's actually a little kids room here at Newport Bay Club with drawing and some games and stuff. A nice view of Hotel New York and Lake Disney and the balloon. Got a TV. We're gonna color in some Mickey's and Minnie's, aren't we, sweetheart? Little chairs, little interactive board. Oh, this is cool. We'll have a look at this in a minute, darling. Hi, Goofy! Hi, Goofy! Wow, oh. that's so cool. Oh, is it true? Oh, uh, is it your birthday today? Yeah, how old are you today? Hey, and what's your name? Hey, do you think we can sing happy birthday for you? <gasps> Ready, Goofy? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paisley. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> that was nice meeting Goofy back at Newport Bay. We're now heading through Disney Village and I thought I'd just point out the queue at Annette's Diner. Like, there's a lot of people queuing to go in there. Haven't been in in years, so I don't know how good it is anymore. But yeah, if you guys have been recently, let me know if it's worth checking out next time. Casey's got her strawberries again. Are they nice, sweet? 
What? That is a review and a half. This looks so pretty at night. We've just seen Minnie, Asha. Who else did we see, Posey? Can you remember? Mickey. It's lovely. The camera's not really doing it justice, but it's Elsa. so pretty. Elsa, favourite. Heading on parts of the Caribbean, which is basically a walk on. Oh. Woo! guys there was no drones on the electrical sky parade because of weather like what weather it's been perfect it's not even like windy or anything maybe the wind levels need to be really low because they're little drones i don't know i don't know it's a shame which just means maybe we should come back before september not likely but it would be nice you never know we are just in the little sports bar place in the village just get some drinks it takes the room and i think rob and i are going to get a slice of pizza each if we can get a slice or one just to share if we can do that and then it's bedtime isn't it darling yeah they do a lot more in here than i thought so you can get a cheese and ham sandwich meal red sauce pasta meal pizza meal and then things on their own as well so like just fries hot dog fish and chips mickey pizza normal pizzas salads desserts that's really good actually now you can see some of the bits and bobs in here We've got that champagne glass as well. That cheesecake looks friendly. Oh, here's our cute little Mickey pizza. That's a good size, actually. How much did all that come to, Rob? We've got the pizza, fries, and a couple of drinks. 23 euros. 23 euros. Yum! Right, and that's it for today. It's been a mega, mega busy day, full of so much fun. I've absolutely loved every second. Highlights were definitely my royal dream and the royal banquet. I also really did enjoy going on Space Mountain with Casey as much as I didn't want to do it. I'm quite glad she forced me to face my fears. Gutted about the drones not being on, but what can you do? It's, it is what it is. But yeah, it's been a really fun day. If I'm sitting weirdly, guys, I'm, I'm rubbing my back. I'm not doing anything weird. My back's here, and I'm like, oh, literally, have not stopped moving today. My Apple Watch is saying we're nearly like at a thousand move, which is more than I've probably done in quite a long time to be honest i wanted i wanted to get it to a thousand so i sat here and i thought about maybe just like walking up the corridor it's only like 10 more points and there's enough corridors but instead i'm gonna get comfy sit on that chair over there and stuff my face with pizza but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i'm taking my shoes off because i can't possibly wait they hurt far too much yeah be sure to subscribe if you have we're spending most of tomorrow in the studios park before heading home. So lots of fun to come then. And take care of yourself, everybody. I'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>